Hi everybody, Jason with Happy Tales. Uh, once again, <laughs> we are in uh, fix mode. We have been kind of uh, doctoring this along for a little bit. Uh, and by this I mean our, our spider control. Now this controls everything. This controls my slides. This controls everything that is a switch capability, meaning my heater, my AC, my heat pump, my fans, my slides, my lights, um, everything except for my um, levelers. Now, problem I have is we were having a problem. What was, oh, our tank heater was the very first thing that wasn't quite working and we'd get some chatter. Um, we found out that it was a bad board and well, we we have more problem than that. It's not just the board, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, well, it is a board. Problem is, is everything is controlled right here. This is what they call the spider control. Um, and this diagram here has everything in it. And this is what it looks like on the inside. So, unfortunately, this guy is $2,800. Uh, yeah, ouch. Um, and it's a three to four week lead time because they have to program it. Now, each one of these has a individual board. This is A, B, C, D, E, and F. Um, you can see negative coming in here, positive over here. And each one of these can uh, troll something, you know, whether it's lights and stuff. So right now this board is working and the bottom board is working. The four boards in the middle, not so much. Now, uh, I've gone through and everything is working. I can, I can jumper it off and make it work. Problem is, is there is another board right here. And this is called the G6A board of spider control. That guy's shot. All my drivers pretty much are shot. So I have to replace the whole thing. Um, we went ahead and ordered a new one today. Problem is, is like I said, we're about three to four weeks out. Um, because, you know... Well, everything, you know, whether it's the supply chain, uh, you name it, but they have to program it, then they'll ship it to me. Then I can just basically plug and play, put this in. Um, it'll work on the uh, screen up there. My ACs will work, my heat pumps will all work. Now, we are using space heaters for the time being, the furnace or the fireplace because the furnace doesn't work. Now, that's fantastic. It works fine, it heats the living area just fine, the bedroom, the bathroom, no problem. Problem is, is we're gonna be down into the 20s and the high teens here uh, in two days. I need a furnace, I need to have the furnace running because I need to keep my uh, lines, my plumbing lines that are down in the basement, I need to keep that all warm as well as my um, tanks need to <laughs> not freeze. So what I'm doing, is we bought where is this little guy at i just lost him okay i bought this little guy right here uh it was eight bucks on amazon basically all this is is a 12 volt uh thermostat so i have power in ground in are the red and black and then this is another ground and this is my sending my signal wire which is the yellow wire oops sorry and then i have my temperature probe Basically, what I'm going to do is um, this right here is my connection for my furnace. Um, I have a printout of my schematic of what everything is. I am going to uh, supply power to this. I'm just going to plug and run a wire to my positive here and my negative here. I'll bridge my negatives together so I have both my negatives here are going to be like so. This will be my positive and then this will be my sending unit. My sending unit will go into 8 here. Um, I am actually going to unpin this. I was just testing that out making sure that I had continuity to my furnace. Um, so then I can set my thermos here. This is only a temporary fix, okay? This is just to keep us going for the next month or however long until we get our our um, board board in. Um, like I said, we still have lights, as you can see. We just don't have 
the important stuff. We're here for an extended time, so I'm not worried about the slides or any of that right now. Um, but what a mess. This thing is just a nightmare. So anyway, I'm going to link this guy downstairs in our um, description there. I know I, I know I always say that to, downstairs, but it'll be in the description. Um, eight bucks, and I'll show you what I do here. So I'm going to wire this in real quick. I'll show you how I wired it, and then um, uh, we'll show you how it works. Kick on the furnace, so on and so forth. Um, now... I, the, again, this is temporary. I'm going to use the same wire. So my grounds, my positive, and my sending unit are all going to be my purple wire uh, that you see here. It's just going to be this guy here. That's only because I know what I'm doing, As and I'm not saying nobody else does. I'm saying I know what I'm doing in here, and I'm going to be the one that's going to be replacing it. So it's just temporary. So I'm not worried about having a red wire, a, blue, a yellow wire, and a black wire all going to be the same because I'm just going to slap it in there, call it good. So let me uh, get to this and then we'll come back and we'll show you operation on this guy. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, I am back. Um, we do have this guy. I'm going to leave this uh, pigtail unplugged. Uh, I plugged directly into the end of it. I didn't want to, well, actually I wanted to D-terminal it, but my D-terminal tools are not here. So we... Uh, just went into that, electrical taped it. Um, you could cut that out and do a butt connector and then butt connect it back once this is all back together. I'm trying to minimize my splices of my wiring. Um, I did my negative down here. Like I said, they're all the same color. But what I did do, instead of putting it in the positive, I did put a fuse in here and then screwed it into here for my positive. Now, so we messed up. We didn't realize that this was in um, Celsius. Now, again, yes, I realize this isn't the prettiest, prettiest, whatever. They don't give you very long wires. Um, so this is kind of just temporary. Please don't nail me in the comments too bad. Um, but it works. We've had our furnace kick on. Um, we have it set at... 20 right now um, and you can see that no we have it set lower than that I thought I it was oh. okay let me go back we have it set at 18 so that's our set right there you can see it's flashing it's at 15 um, as it drops lower it'll fire on and it's been kicking off temperature probe um, I'm probably going to just leave this guy up here, um, like so. I'll kind of move him up out of the way and probably just tape this guy up here like so. Temporary. There we go. Just like that. So that, you know, it doesn't turn on all the time because it's got colder air. I kind of want it mid-level. And that's what we're going to do. So like I said, that's our temporary fix to fix this spider. It is a pain in the butt that um, everything is controlled by this. Um, so there, there's a negative for um, the beacon. This is something that I don't really care for. I like having the switches. It's a lot easier. Um, technology is a grand. It's a wonderful thing until it's not. And uh, we're at that not point. So <laughs> we're going to uh, plug through this. If I need other things... Um, we can jumper those as well, and I might do a video on that. But for right now, like I said, we're, we're stationary for a little bit, so I'm not worried about the slides. I'll have this board in by the time we pull the slides in and everything. So, uh, But we needed the heater, so this is what we did to get the heater by. Um, we're going to check to see if they have one of these thermostats in Fahrenheit. So, <laughs> our oops, but... You can do a little conversion online. It's not that end of the world for you. So thanks again. You guys know the drill. See you next week. Bye, everybody. Okay, wait. Don't go anywhere. I know I said uh, I'll see you next week, but hold on. <laughs> now, I just wanted to do a little uh, fast forward, so to speak. We, as you can see here, have a fix. It is back to working 100%. Um, but 
key word is we didn't put the new board in. Um, we definitely had a gremlin because we had it set up for a couple of weeks like that and all of a sudden just started working like a champ, just like it was brand new. We are, however, still expecting that new board to come in. We're still going to keep that because I feel if it's happened once, it's going to happen again. Now, I, w I wanted to touch base a little bit and kind of tell you what the spider control really does. Now, the spider control is all of our 12 volt. So that controls everything. I mean, it controls the air conditioning. It controls everything except for the outlets um, in our RV. It controls our slides. It controls our levelers. It controls our awnings. Um, so the only thing we really had power to was about, what'd you say, hun? About three quarters of the lights yeah. on the inside. That's that's all we had. We had no furnace. We had no, air, not that we needed air conditioning, but no heat pump. Um, the uh, magic fans, we didn't have any use of those. Um, so that's why this thing is so important. Now you'll see that I did still leave the uh, wires out that I had for the thermostat. The reason being is just in case. Just in case this thing fails again, um, I can plug into that thermostat again and put it on there. Now, I did want to note a little bit on that thermostat too. Um, I believe we had it set at 15.9. I know I said 20, but uh, we had it kick off a little over 20. So that those were the ranges and it, it, it worked perfect. It worked flawless. Um, where we had it mounted was perfect. We never touched it. It just ran as it ran. <clears throat> Excuse me, I had a frog in my throat today. And so it worked fine. But now, as you can see, we have lights and we can control our awnings or our slides if we needed to. Um, but we're still here for a little bit, so not the end of the world. I just wanted to kind of touch base and let you guys know uh, what has happened since we filmed this. And oh, weird, it just kind of came back. So um, that happens in the RV world. You know, you get some gremlins once in a while, something will work and then it won't and then it will. And uh, But... I hope that if you guys have a similar problem like that, it's it's easy to uh, fix it to get you by. Um, like I said, we'll link that thermostat in the description so that you guys can do that. Just know it, it is in Celsius. There is no Fahrenheit on there at all. So just an easy conversion. You guys can set it how you want. You can have an off, you can have an on, and you know it'll just run between that temperature setting. And it worked perfect. So again, Enough of my rambling. I appreciate you guys watching, and uh, we'll see you guys next week. I promise. See you guys next week. I'm done. See ya. Bye-bye.